here. And use this town since we got a hard floor. I think the foot could get like carpal tunnel, you know, if you've been on riding a lot or, uh, you know, just doing little movements instead of just big, uh, you know, big motions with your foot. So, yeah, I think you could get carpal tunnel, some other kind of things that the, that the hand would get to. <laughs> well, I mean, I do everything from, uh, you know, picking some something up with the toes to, uh, you know, I'll flick up a, a pen and catch it with the, you know, kind of like David Letterman would. Uh, you know, the toes are like fingers. We just don't use them that, that way. At first was something people looked at, but then at the same time, they couldn't believe it. Uh, so it was an eye-catching thing too. Uh, they would walk and go, he really playing. And uh, I kept that. <laughs> Yeah, the guitar was something my dad had, and since there was one in the house, I just tried it, I started working, uh, the tuning is the secret, I tuned it to a different tuning than the standard tuning, and once I did that, it opened the doors, and you know, I write with my toes, turn pages with my toes, so the guitar was something new, not, you know, not too many people I know use their feet on top of the guitar. I would say that uh, here's a guy with no arms, you know, playing the guitar with his feet. Uh, I've traveled, you know, to 42 countries. Uh, I've played for, from presidents to popes. Uh, who would have ever thought that a guy with no arms would be able to be doing what I'm doing? Uh, the, even the young people don't run away from me. I mean, they, I guess in a sense they respect even what I do. and want to see and, you know, are, are kind of drawn to it, too. So, you know, if I could do what I'm doing with my ten toes, I know that other people can do just as much, if not more, uh, with what they have. So.